join us today. We're going to take a little trip uh, into the book of Proverbs, Just gazing through Proverbs, looking for something to address some of this misinformation and misrepresentation of the facts. Because people are dying uh, for the lack of knowledge. People are dying because they are uh, and have become delusional. People have begun to believe a lie over the truth. Matter of fact, some people rather believe a lie than to believe truth. So look with me, if you will, at the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter number 17, number 18, excuse me, uh, Proverbs 18, and there we're going to notice uh, just one verse of the proverb. Uh, we're going to notice that from the uh, 18th chapter of Proverbs, and there we uh, focus in. We are dial in to uh, verse number 17. Verse number 17. Uh, but before we do that, let us pray. Merciful and eternal God, we pray that you would open our understanding, that you would feed us with wisdom, that you would feed us with knowledge. Heavenly Father, we pray now in the name of Jesus that we would be better because of your word. Thank you for the safekeeping and spirit of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. My brothers and sisters, the book of Proverbs is all about wisdom. Wisdom. And wisdom is not about knowing facts. Wisdom is about knowing what to do with what you know. What to do with what you know. Wisdom is knowing when to do it. Wisdom is knowing how to do it. Uh, believers will sometimes confuse proverbs with promises. Uh, Solomon, in his collection of proverbs, are not promises made by God. Listen, the book of Proverbs is, are not promises that were made by God, but they are guiding principles to direct and order our steps that we might live successful and productive lives. Notice uh, this verse, uh, Proverbs 18 and 17. Uh, the New Living Translation uh, reads, the first to speak in court sounds right until the cross-examination begins. The first to speak in court uh, sounds right until the cross-examination begins. This proverb reminds us that there's two sides to the story. Two sides to the story and you decide which side is true. There are two sides to the story. But you must determine 
which side is true. And so tonight, uh, my brothers and sisters, don't be quick to swallow the first story that you hear about a subject, a situation. Don't jump to conclusions. Rather, gather all the information you can and consider it carefully before drawing a conclusion. Proverbs 18 and 17 says, the first one to speak in court sounds right. If a brother goes to court against a, uh, with a lawsuit against somebody, the first one to testify in court sounds right until the cross-examination begins. In other words, every story sounds credible. Every story sounds reasonable, believable, until you check it out. This is why the Bible insists that every matter be established by two or more witnesses. Every matter should be established by two or more witnesses. Don't take the word of one witness alone. Every matter, in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, 18, and verse 16, the Living Translation says, uh, Take one or two others with you and go back again so that everything you say may be confirmed, confirmed, confirmed by two or three witnesses. My brothers and my sisters, here's a dilemma that we face in this present society. People misrepresent, pervert, twist, falsify, misreport the truth. Before you get your army together and go to war, it is a wise person who checks out the facts. Check out the facts. Get the other side of the issue. Don't be guilty of ruining lives, ruining friends, ruining their reputation by repeating half truth, misrepresenting the truth, disinformation. Be careful about what you pass on. We need to be people who are always looking for the rest of the story. Not, not just one side of the story, but the rest of the story. Check the facts. Look at the opposition's argument. You haven't really checked the facts until you understand both sides of the argument. Both sides of the story. Let me give you an example. Rather than assuming the worst about someone or coming to the conclusion, the gossip or the suggestion is true. Check it out before you come to a conclusion. Check it out. You can have really good success saying to people, listen, I don't know if you know this or not, but this is what is being said about you. You know, just, just go to the person, go to the person, and, 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 and strike up the conversation. I don't know if you know this, or not. But 
this is what is being said about you. What's going on? What, what's, what's going on? Listen, there is always another side of the story. And people appreciate the fact that you want to hear it. Before you repeat a story, ask yourself, is this credible? Is it believable? Or is it important? If not, stop it. If not, the buck stops with you. Don't carry it another foot. Don't, don't carry it another inch. Don't spread it anymore. And here's the reason why it's important that we know what we're talking about that we know what we're texting out, what we're posting up, is credible. The reason why is because people are dying. Let, let me repeat that. People are dying because the truth is being misrepresented and misreported. Before you spread information about the vaccine or the virus, make sure that you have your facts in order. Make sure that you have your facts you know, my brothers and my sisters, remember this tonight. What you say or pass on can be a matter of life and death. There are two sides to the story. Make sure it's credible. You can be saved tonight. The Bible declares in Romans 10 and 9, if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, that you shall be saved. What well, that amounts to, my brothers and sisters, if you can believe in the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you can be saved. God bless you. Love you, my church family. Love you, those of you that are tuning in. And our prayer for you is that you would stay smart and be safe. God bless you. Well, it's that time again. My brothers and sisters, it's that time. Let me encourage you. Be smart. Be safe. Wear your mask. Till the next time, see you.